presented in single parent. Jill Nelson, Navy lieutenant and jet pilot. Each day she takes Navy combat pilots out for a spin, literally, testing their ability to regain control of an airplane falling out of the sky. Okay, right around the opposite. Just come in, hold her in. Even veteran pilots say these spins make them sick, but once a year they have to prove they can do it. Else? <laughs> Jill Nelson does it twice, but like all women in the military, she is prohibited by law from flying in combat. And I'm sitting here with uh, six coming up on seven years of flying time in the Navy and never had the shot to succeed or fail. Professionally, that's uh, out. There's no doubt about that. But Jill Nelson may soon get that shot, thanks mainly to the war with Iraq. Congress now seems almost certain to remove the restrictions on women flying combat aircraft. Like the, uh, the Berlin Wall falling, you just about can't believe it. And maybe the average person wouldn't feel that way, but I do because I've worked so many years to be here. It's just like, gosh, <laughs> you're kidding. <laughs> That's great. All of a sudden, you look over the F-14 and you possibly think that, well, heck, this is great. You can no longer tell the American people, oh, no, we don't put women in dangerous places. They saw it on TV every day for day after day. Defense Secretary Cheney is in favor of changing the law to allow women to fly in combat. But there's a catch. It would be left to the individual services to decide whether to actually put women in combat aircraft. And within the military, there are still a lot of male hang-ups about letting women crack what has to be the most macho of all fraternities. Would you have uh, any trouble with her as your wingman? Well, I'm not a uh, I'm not a spokesman for the Navy. No, Pers personally, well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'm not going to comment on that. Give me a shot. I might be the best person for the job. I have a decent argument against it. I have on the flip side of the coin. What is the argument against women? Well, you've heard them all. Pregnancies. Personal decisions. I think another one is uh, women being shot down in combat, that they're going to be uh, raped and molested as prisoners of war. I don't know if I could go out in a local neighborhood, get raped, and most people would care, but all of a sudden, if I'm a combat pilot, get shot down now, it's a, it's a big deal, and I find that conflicting. How about nighttime, aircraft carrier landing in bad weather? They seem to think that that is uh, the real test of a new mm -hmm. combat pilot. They haven't let us try. How can they say we wouldn't do it? But to say it's just a matter of training. It isn't a matter of male confidence or male ego or male ability. It's a matter of training. Well, the, taking women out of that trainer over there and putting them on this F-14 means breaking two taboos. Because it doesn't make much to put women in combat aircraft that are also allowed to serve on board aircraft carriers. While no women are currently assigned to carriers, female pilots already serve aboard other ships. Hilo pilot Alyssa Rainey was the only woman aboard a resupply ship assigned to operations Desert Shield and Desert Storm, where she faced the same risks as the men. We lost an engine, um, then shortly thereafter we lost the second engine, and we auto rotated to the water. And what happened when you hit the water? The helped her filled with water, rolled left, and sank immediately. The two pilots, both of us got out, uh, one of our crewmen got out. The other crewmen do not get home. Everyone in the service takes odds of uh, going into combat, and I'm just going to any of my counterparts to do that. I wouldn't have signed up if I hadn't. This works. But when she signed up seven years ago, she didn't have Andrew to think about. Flying combat aircraft off carriers means leaving him for six months at a time. A tough decision for any mother, particularly one who is also head of household. I haven't said I'd make that choice one way or the other yet. I don't have to yet. But I've certainly earned the ability to say yes or no or let me think about it. For Jill Nelson, it better come soon. She has only a few more years. We'll have missed her chance to fly jets in combat. <laughs> David Martin, CBS News, Norfolk, Virginia. And that's our news. I'm Tom Chung, sitting in for Dan Rather. I'll see you again tomorrow night. Thank you for joining us and for all of us at CBS News. Good night.